is Muhammad Abrahim Zada. And ladies and gentlemen, I would like you to help me with your all warm applauses to introduce to the stage our DPM candidate. And uh, I've been in Toastmasters for more than a year, but unfortunately I've been a very lazy member. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I only finished two levels of pathways, but not that much lazy because I have so many things to do with myself and I have classes, courses in university, but at this time uh, I got some uh, more free times. And that's why I decided to participate in this position as a VP leadership for the next term. So as Mr. President said that uh, VP uh, membership or Vice President membership is someone who signed new members who always uh, communicate with new members and guest newcomers to help them understand and uh, to help them uh, be member and sign them in road chat, taking roads and doing ice breakers, ice meetings. So as a uh, vice president membership, there are some roads that I have in my term. Uh, first one, uh, let the guests know more about Toastmasters. This is very important because when guests come at the meeting the first time, they need to know what is Toastmaster and what, what could we get from this club? Is it the same as all the clubs in the, in the city or not? So as a VP membership, I would introduce them to Toastmaster. He would be like a very public, good public speaker and a, a good leader or, or anything that you can get from this club. So when they see the bright future of this club and bright experienced members that they have done a lot of speech in and as an Astana Masters Club, they may change their mind and come to the So the next one, welcome guests and new members. Of course, the new members and guests, when they come at the meetings, we all, or, and specifically me, as a VP and membership, uh, welcome all of them and uh, give them, uh, help them to know about this, and, uh, this club that's very friendly and cool. Club. And the next one is encourage uh, members, especially new members, for being active. For example, speak, taking speeches and taking roles. Because uh, in so, uh, and at this uh, time, I we have seen uh, so many issues about this that our postmaster, our general evaluator, asking too many times the group chat to that they are asking for a role taker or a speaker. So I'll, have, I'll encourage all of them to take roles and to make this issue at the next term. So um, when they just take all roles and speeches, and uh, they will invite other friends to the club, and it would be great to achieve and attract new members. And uh, yeah, cooperate with officers, the VP, uh, VP public relations. And when you are in a team, officers, there are a lot of uh, experienced officers. And as a VP membership, I would ask help from other officers, and may, they may ask anything. So we will cooperate. And uh, especially, public relations, uh, VP public relations is very important for attracting new members and newcomers to the club. To, uh, advertising on the net, uh, social networking that's very important one and help members if the needs are meet at ATC and it's also a very important thing and it's not only for new members all of members help them understand how they the needs uh, could be met in ATC and the last one is the very important one that is to be very active and present in the meeting and events and uh, I think that's it for me, they are my main goals for, uh, in case of being selected as a VP membership. So I hope to be a good representative of this position in the next term if I be the Yes. And wow. thank you very much. You can say on stage, please. Let's go.
we have Q and A session. We can ask two to three questions to our potential vice president for membership candidate. And if you have questions, please raise your hand and ask him over his duties. For instance, oh, okay, you can see. You can. Um, you spoke a lot about how many members and not to lose their interest and keep being part of those monsters and have their part of ROI as our presence. Uh, yeah, actually, yes, uh, for new members, it's because uh, we want to have more members in our plan. And uh, of course, our board members are very important at this club and they will have their roles, their, they will have their slots, they will job. But just for, for, I thought it would be a way to achieve, to, to attract the members and F. Okay, uh, did he answer the question? Okay, uh, I have a few questions for you, uh, others, also opportunity to ask you. Um, the very first one, will you be able to attend all of our meetings during my term? Our term, I should say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this term is six months, I guess, yeah. Because uh, it's uh, very essential for the vice president of membership to be in all meetings because uh, we have a lot of newcomers who may ask questions, who may want to join our club, and if he doesn't see the uh, vice president of membership, it's going to, he may not come back. Second question is uh, about our traditions. Currently, we have a tradition called induction ceremony. Yes. Will you proceed with induction ceremony? Like, okay. Hmm? Yeah. The first question. Uh, I think I would, because uh, this at this time I have for uh, three times, and if if maybe who knows if in some meetings that if I, I couldn't attend the meeting, I, I would ask another member. To be instead of me, for example, specifically I Z. Yeah, she is also ready to help me in this step. So uh, this problem uh, will be solved. And the next question was uh, about induction ceremony. Yes, the induction the induction ceremony. Also, I want to continue this mm -hmm. to presenting the icebreaker after their their they do their icebreaking their pins, those master pins for certificates. So yeah, I'm going to yes. And the, 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 the last question for me, at least, uh, related to another tradition called Ice Breaking Marathon. Will you organize Ice Breaking Marathon in our club? At least once. You have been, you are a winner. Yes. <laughs> I have been a uh, winner of last year's Ice Breaking Marathon. And uh, I actually, I'm so happy to, to to lead a nice speaking marathon. So uh, I'll see and I would like to, yeah, to organize it. Yeah, to organize a nice speaking marathon as well. This one's uh, yeah, this step, yeah. Come on, thank, thank you. you. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, thank you very much. And any questions or was it enough? No, Question for you. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, I would like just I will have a short uh, question uh, referring to your first point about uh, talking more about Toastmasters to newcomers to guests. So uh, how do you imagine for yourself? How will you uh, talk to newcomers during the meeting? Yeah. After the meeting. So um, being the ex VP membership, I know that uh, it's really hard to manage your time after the meeting because uh, a lot of people come approach to you to know how to uh, join the club. So they they have uh, the, their questions that you need to answer properly, yeah. briefly. So I guess um, probably you need to uh, have some um, special sessions for newcomers to explain them? I have uh, some plan. Uh, first plan to, to uh, explain, and the second plan that I have for newcomers, for the guests, I would uh, 
I would like to uh, prepare some uh, uh, very short, brief, and quick information about those masters. We get everything about those masters uh, in a, a short well, text, and we give to every newcomer to know more about those masters. Do you need leaflets? Huh? Some, some, some information? Yeah, some information. Okay. And very brief, and uh, quite and interesting, and, uh, and uh, complete information. Yes. Yeah, yeah, the packets. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Muhammad, for.